Welcome back to the leak. Today we're going to take another look at Pi 1541 and we're going to see uh, some of the reasons why we might get stuck at the boot logo and what we can do about it. But there are some things I'd like to talk about first. Um, first of all, 300 subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Also, thank you for all your great questions and comments. And uh, thank you for all the other questions and comments as well. And this month's winner of best thread is TK6713 with a respectful greeting and a good description of the problem and what had been tried so far. There was really no contest. So thank you, Gary, uh, for helping me helping you. And uh, let's have a look at uh, the problem he was experiencing. Now getting started with Pi 1541 is usually not uh, a, a big issue. Uh, you get a uh, you know, prefabricated hat, and you have the hardware um, easily accessible, and the display uh, here is is a very good um, indicator of when things are actually starting to work. Uh, but uh, let's just say that you don't have that hardware yet, and maybe you just hook up a display directly to the Raspberry Pi, um, either an OLED uh, LCD display um, or the the HDMI. Just to get the software running on on um, on the Pi, you might experience this problem. It's it's sitting there trying to load the ROM. This in my case is a fifteen eighty one ROM, and you're not getting anywhere. And it looks like it doesn't boot at all. Now, if you had the OLED plugged in at this point, you you would only see the boot logo, and it wouldn't go any further. Uh, it wouldn't uh, start the file browser, and. Um, you start looking around the forums and uh, you know various places on the internet, and you you get the suggestions that oh, you need to rename your ROM file and stuff like that. But uh, just just check this out. I, I plug it in again here, and um, all of a sudden, it just works. And uh, you, you can't really figure out why it worked this time, but. Look at this. I have my fingers avoiding ground and then just give this pin here a little bit of a scratch. And all of a sudden it comes to life. Let's do that again. Nothing. And I give it a bit of a scratch. There we go. And that's the file browser. So what's happening here is that um, when you don't have any hat hardware connected to, to the Raspberry Pi, there is no signal pulling up the reset. So it will actually boot up, it will load all the ROMs. But at that point, Pi 1541 might get stuck in a reset loop. Uh, and the reset loop uh, prevents the browser from starting. But we can fix that uh, by tying this pin, the reset pin, high. I'm, I'm connecting it with a... As a four or five or ten K resistor here and that's that's really all we need just to make sure that the reset signal is tied high that means that uh, Pi 1541 won't detect uh, a reset in progress and it will boot without uh, having any issue now I spoke to uh, Steve White about this issue and I know that on the Raspberry Pi it is possible to configure the GPIO pins to have an internal pull-up uh, and um, it's a 50k pull-up or, or something like that uh, but it, that would be enough to to tie it uh, high and it won't uh, put any extra drain on the the hardware and the Commodore and, and the rest of the hardware so uh, I suggested this um, uh, to Steve White, but he came uh, up with a different suggestion, actually. And that is to use the ignore reset option in the configuration file uh, to, to uh, just uh, get the reset out of the uh, picture altogether. He regrets having that uh, option default to zero uh, because it, it it was only useful for people that don't have any kind of screen and use the file browser on the 64. And he didn't think at all that the LCD screen would, would take off and be so popular for Pi 1541. Uh, so 
ignoring the reset doesn't really make a huge difference for people that has the ability to control Pi-1541 from there. Uh, he also goes on to say that he he will probably remove the reset uh, completely because he wants the GPIO for better things in the future. So uh, that sounds interesting for sure. Thanks, Steve. And um, that's it for today, I suppose. Um, if you get stuck at the boot logo and you don't have any uh, hardware connected or, or any Pi-1541 hat, try a pull-up resistor or the uh, ignore reset configuration option and... Uh, Try to avoid changing the file names of the ROM files and stuff. Keep to the default and it should work fine. And in fact, if if it can't find the, the ROM file, it could actually give you a, a behavior almost identical to this reset loop. So um, it might lure you down quite a deep rabbit hole, actually, if you have multiple problems that actually cause the same symptoms. So thanks for today. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for, for following the channel and uh, I'll see you soon again.